Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Chewy Cherry. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another super detailed and very specific pick a card reading. Today's topic is Who is my soulmate? Who is your soulmate or twin flame? Okay, how you will recognize them? You maybe already know them, or maybe you are going to know them. This is all about your soulmate. Super detail and specific reading um, that I will definitely give you the more information as much as I can to give you the detailed reading about your soulmate. That who is this person? Okay, maybe how you will meet this person and how will be your relationship um, and how you will get to know this person, okay, if you don't know. So anybody can watch this if you believe that you are in a soulmate connection or twin flame. So this is a confirmation that will tell about this person. And also if you're single, so you're going to meet this person, okay, if you feel like you did not meet this person yet. So yeah, all detail about your soulmate, about your twin flame. Who is that person? Every detail about this person and how your relationship will develop and how will be uh, you come together and everything all, okay? So this is definitely journey of your soulmate and twin flame, okay? So keep in mind, this is a general reading. As I always say, take what resonates and leave the part that does not resonate with you. Or maybe anything does not resonate with you. It means this reading is not for you. You can find out any other better channel or best channel that you resonate with. Obviously, no judgment here. Um because everyone is doing their own work in the best way so yes um you can get a personal reading from me as you want it check out the description box for all the personal reading also you can um join me on instagram for more fun of these type of readings i also post there so you have the six groups in front of you with these lovers and couples card here so choose intuitively and also I want to tell here, this is a gender free reading. Whoever you are interested in, you can watch this. Most welcome on my channel. There, This channel is open and free for everyone out of the world from anywhere you are. Okay, so this is definitely race free, gender free, anything you can watch this reading. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, pause the video, meditate and choose your group whatever is calling you and I will meet you on your reading. So let's start the reading guys. What you can help me in this return, you can what you give me in the gratitude, give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell, okay? So let's start the reading. Hello group number one, the people who choose this card. Let's figure it out together. Who is your soulmate or twin flame? Let's see. So we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make, bands your understanding of life and love okay for a lot of you there is no judgment here obviously when when it's a matter of the heart and love they're saying that choose from your heart okay maybe for it's not make sense for you or for this person or for the peoples but it makes sense for the two peoples who are in love okay so let's see who is your soulmate we have maturity Okay, so this person could be mature than you or you will mature up with this person. We have the gardener. Um, I will show the cards, then I will power and intention. Then we have rejoice and celebration, three of cups. Okay, from this archetype's card, this person has child nature, friendship with animals, communication with nature spirit. And then we have here is, sorry, seeker. Uh, trust for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. We have the release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay. And then we have unavailable. This person is unavailable to give all you deserve. Oh my God. Heavy. Let's see from Tarot. We have Ace of Pentacles. We have six of wands. I will see it from, from tarot. Queen of cups. Two of cups. Wow. This is a soulmate card. We have ten of cups. Pisces, skin, so Scorpio. And then we have seven of wands. I don't have a space here to put here. But you can see that, right? So maybe I have to put it here. So you can see the cards here. This is two cards here. So let's see from Romance Angels, we have separation. 
soulmate and we have the deception oh so this is a confirmation that you have two soulmate card here soulmate and two of cups is also soulmate so you definitely have a soulmate and you're going to be with your soulmate yes okay so a lot of you i would say this is the person that you are in separation right now you're not with this person this person is deceptive and not letting you in in their life and maybe that's what the message main message was for you you know in the matter of the heart excuse me okay in the matter of the heart let's see the message again when it's come to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expand your understanding of life and love okay so a lot of you you may be in a separation with this person you already know this person this person is deceptive okay not expressing the love to you um because i feel that they, there could be an age difference between you and this person because we have the maturity so level of maturity this person need to mature up this person need to level up um this person is also a gardener so this is a very masculine energy um the gardener this is someone that you can trust you can have a family with or maybe have a family with this person in the future because we also also have this 10 of cups right this is a family this is a baby creating your your abundance together look at this I love this card. Look at this in this deck. So look at these babies and, you know, creating family together and living together. This Ten of Cups. So, yeah. Um, but I'm seeing this person is defensive right now or there could be a, some struggle. This person is not letting you in in their life or this person could be blocked right now. Or you are blocked by this person because I'm seeing a separation here because of this deception. Okay. But it's most likely this person is not you know, already for this love because it's really intense. This person need to mature up, level up. They could be need to grow up a lot um, because I'm seeing this is your energy represented by my viewer, male or female. You are the queen of cups here. Uh, you could be a very creative person, okay? Uh, and you know that this person is coming because I feel here there is a celebration here that you're going to celebrate uh, this reunion, re reconciliation with this person, okay? This is most likely reconciliation for those people who are in separation and you know this person is. They need to mature up, level up, okay? And I feel this person is coming and you're going to be successful with this person. But right now with the seven of wands, this person is defensive or there's a definitely, this person need to let down their guards in order to feed this union. And if you are a new person and if, if you're a single and you don't know who this person is and you are stand you are stopped by here to watch who is this, I feel like you're going to meet this person through your friends because we have this three of cups celebration or some type of gatherings or events that you're going to meet this person. Or maybe with the six of wands, this is someone who is very popular in your friend zone, like friends, friend circle or someone who is a very popular, like your friends knows about this person and, you know, like a popular kid or guy, girl, uh, you know that person now this person your soulmate energy with the male or female i'm just talking about your soulmate okay our twin flame we have the child nature this person again is represented by the child nature they could be childish or younger than you or they carry this child energy you know because i feel this person is a seeker they're a traveler they're an adventurer um, this person could be you know stand by from one place to another this person could be from deserts area wherever the deserts are um, I feel this person could be from Africa or I don't know the places there could be a desert like I don't know I'm getting like Africa I'm, I'm getting like Africa vibes here and also like this is like a Middle East type of energy you guys will be different cultures I'm also picking up like mixed race okay like or this person could be from a mixed race like they could have some type of you know roots or from their family from this deserts areas UAE you know like from some Middle East like Iraq Russia sorry Russia is not there but I said the Russia so maybe from Russia um I feel this person is definitely from different place they born different, but they are wherever you will meet them, they will be indifferent. This person is a very artistic. This person is a very adventurer. This person is a childlike. Um, I feel that this is release and unbelievable, yeah, un uh, um, unavailable. This person, I feel like you need re you need to release this person and let them person go and find them out. Basically, what do they want? And because they they will be unavailable. And they are right now unavailable. So you know that who this person is. For a lot of you, when you will meet this person, so this person will be unavailable to you emotionally. So you need to understand that because maybe you will meet this person when you are younger. You know, you are maturing up. You are leveling up uh, through maybe your friends or someone, uh, you know, introduce this person 
or some type of gatherings or events um, or maybe through some type of, you know, like projects that you're starting, some internships also. So maybe you will go there some doing some internships and you're going to meet this person there because this person is definitely from different place. Um, because we also have the power and intention. So this is very strong connection. You will feel a very strong pull toward this person no matter what. Because again, it's a confirmation because this is your soulmate. You will have this strong pull toward this person no matter what. Uh, you can't let this person go from your life. Even though you are separated, but you will definitely connecting with each other on a di different level. Okay, So there will be a lot of love and emotions you will share with each other. You will definitely come into union, but after some time. And if you right now is indefinitely in, in separation, you will come together. I'm seeing the victorious. You're going to, you will start a new cycle with this person within, um, separ after separation within six months or one year. But I'm seeing here a lot of you, one and six is really, really important for you. Um, I'm also getting a lot of you, maybe you're going to get married with this person because you have the 10 of cups. Yeah. You will create this beautiful family together or maybe you will get pregnant by this person. Who knows, right? But it's just a very beautiful feelings. You like living with your soulmate in a harmonious way. You will definitely get married with this person. Okay? So this is your reading. Like, share and subscribe and let me know if it's resonate with you. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number two, the people who choose this card. Let's figure it out together. Who is your soulmate slash twin flame? Let's see. We have the sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are, one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, so I feel this is a very sexual union. For a lot of you, you will be very, very attractive to each other sexually. Uh, you can see that they look like even the same. Okay, their bodies, their face. So this could be a twin flame connection. You will definitely mirror a lot of things Okay, together, even though this is your soulmate, obviously, because uh, Twin Flame is a complex form of uh, soulmate, because I believe it's rare. It's definitely rare. It's not um, everywhere. So yeah, this is a very strong connection. Sexual. We have the soulmate. Okay. Okay. We are good. We're good. So we, are, we have the soulmate card from this True Love Oracles card, and we have the commitment. Wow. I told you the mirror souls. And whenever I see this card... It's for me, it's like you can see the swans here and they're making the heart. They're mirrors of each other. So very strong soulmate connection. It's true flame, by the way. It's true flame. It's the very highest complex form of the soulmate. So a lot of you, this is your twin flame. Or obviously, this is your soulmate. And you will have, I'm seeing the moon here, completion. So you will have a very um, spiritual, okay, but yet very intuitive and psychic connection with this with each other you will also see each other in your dreams and if you don't know who this person is uh, you may be already getting dreams like this person is coming to you butterflies swans flowers hearts uh, lightnings okay is really important for you maybe you're seeing these things um for a lot of you you may be seeing some some nights in your um in your dreams like stars and moons and uh, you know like these type of things some of you this could be a rainbow try because i'm seeing here so we have um, guardian angel. Wow. This is very protective. This is, again, it's like guardian angel. So some of you could be um, from the dark ethnicity, okay? Uh, maybe dark women watching these videos. No judgment. I'm just saying. We have number three, transformation. It's, it's just like Scorpio card here. So you, some, some of you could be a Scorpio or dealing with it, Scorpio. We also have Messiha. Serving humanity with humility. Yeah, this is a very strong connection. We also have the slave. Surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Wow, Messiah and slave. So I feel this is opposites of you. One person will be Messiah and the other person will be slave. Okay, let's see. We have the passion. Try something you have never done before. Oh, decisions. It's time to decide about this relationship. Okay, a lot of you, you already know this person. Oh my God, they're saying time to make a decision about this. We have seven of pentacles. We have temperance. So earth sign, especially we also have the Sagittarius temperance. Scorpio, five of pentacles, more earth. And we have king of wands. Here you go. And this is your partner. This is your soulmate. Here is Leo Sag. We have eight of cups, water sign. And we have the six of swords. Air and water. Let's see from Romance Angels. We have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Mm. Mm. We also have Passion. We also have the Passion twice. Oh my goodness. 
past life relationship you have known each other before okay so a lot of you this could be someone that you already know you know this person past life connection okay because if you don't know who, the, who this person is this is a past life connection like if you believe in a past life a reincarnation or something from your past life okay but i believe a lot of you you know this person this is a past lover eight of cups you left them or they left you you moved on from them or they moved on from you some of you this could be the baby of um baby father or mama yeah i'm definitely seeing separation here you're not in a contact with each other yeah um yeah we have the five of pentacles someone is feeling left in the cold they left in the cold or you left them it was not equal give and take for some reasons again another moon here i'm seeing here so deception seven of pentacles a lot of waiting here for the other person to come and make the move and you know take take the decisions we also have the temperance balancing up yeah i feel the universe and with the guardian angel and with the temperance presence here this is a very strong spiritual connection and i feel that divine is really working for this connection to bring you guys together into union yeah divine is working because we have the guardian angel and with this temperance i also feel like it's it's definitely guardian angels protecting you and this union your your relationship is protecting no and murder no matter what you're going to be together and if you don't know who this person is this person is coming because you're feeling alone you feel like there's no one for you yeah a lot of you you're going through this this alone time and you're feeling there is no one for you you're never going to find your true love you're never going to find your true soulmate but universe is saying no be patient because this person is coming because this is a part of your transformation three plus four and four stability you're moving towards stability you're moving towards commitment you're moving towards this person if you don't know who this person is and you're feeling left in the cold and alone and there is no one for you in this world but there is someone for you longing for you as you are longing for this person so i'm seeing this a lot of you this is someone that you already know and your relationship is moving toward trans moving right now is going through a transformation and healing and you are coming into union with each other this person is going to express their love to you because they have a lot of passion and lust and desire for you don't forget it's a sexual union a lot of passion so you will have a strong sexual attraction towards each other strong sexual attraction maybe this relationship started as a sexual and then you will develop feeling for each other and you will move towards commitment and soulmates yeah king of wands this is someone oh king of wands daddy someone who's really charming attractive go go get a person go whatever this person wants you know manifester great manifester this person is an entrepreneur businessman or woman whoever this person is very charming they they just do whatever they want to do this is also someone who gets whatever they want and this person has a lot of passion i feel this this is i feel like you both have a lot of passion because it's came up twice you you both hearts are on the fire for each other you have a lot of passion lust and desire you're really looking for this this longing for this commitment and soulmates so the so you can you know touch each other feel each other kiss each other hug each other you know or this could be if you're single watching this this person is coming you will have a lot of passion for each other a lot of passion romance and love for each other but there is some decisions here i feel a lot of you this is someone that you already know and you need to make a decision here it's time to decide about this relationship because you both have a lot of passion desire and lust for each other and you both want to come together but there is someone need to make a decision here either you or this person need to make a decision here about this relationship and i feel this is someone i feel like you're waiting for you're waiting for you invested your time in and this person is coming to give you this commitment you will be committed to each other no matter what i feel that universe is bringing you guys together if you're single or if you know this who this person is already no matter what universe is bringing this person to you because right now you're going through this huge major transformation in your life and your relationship also will be transformed okay if you know this person we also have the slave so some of you this person is definitely not having a difficult time to make up their mind because they're slave they are having a difficult time to make up their mind and decide decide about this relationship they could be slave someone is trying to you know dictate them someone is trying to tell them do that do that maybe their friends other people involved here or something because i told you one person is a messiah someone is very spiritual very um 
healer or messiah helping other people and that's what the guardian angel is and the other person is like a slave so this person could be um, a spiritual a healer or teacher or some sort of working in 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 in, in some type of community and work so they, they they feel like they're slave they can't uh you know they're also thinking about the judgment of other peoples whoever this person is that's what this person need to change and transform they need to think about their own happiness and trust me this person is going to uh, bring this happiness into you and commitment and because this is your soulmate this is confirmation here that you both love each other and a lot of love and passion for each other so this 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 period of um you know alone loneliness and you know leaving the past behind and you know and coming into union this is like a reconciliation strong reconciliation evolving in a different level soulmates and commitment because maybe first you met it was not equal give and take, but now it will be equal give and take. And for others of you, uh, this is brand new person. This is like you are you are alone right now. You are leaving your um, something behind, toxic behind, and you are transforming right now. And this person will transform your whole life, and you will meet this person because this person is coming. You will feel a lot of passion towards this person. It's 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 like it's it's irresistible. Because it's a soulmate and it's a commitment. It's a passion from both sides. It will be equal feelings, mutual. Yeah. So this is your soulmate. Like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number three. The people who choose this card. Let's figure it out together. Who is your soulmate slash twin flame? Wow, we have twin flames. Okay, your passion ignite. So hello, my twin flames. Welcome on my channel. So this is your twin flame. Look at this. This is like two peoples in one body so your soul will be one and you can see that the protection of the god and angels and protection of the spirit so yeah this will be your twin flame or someone that you will feel if you don't know who this person is you will feel like this is someone your mirror self this will be very passionate um that it will scares you up like who this person is right so we have intimacy and we have yin and yang yeah wow this is your soulmate this is a balance equal give and take this is also like um masculine and feminine we have expect miracles wow this is a miracle for you it's about to happen we have memories of love six of cups spices cancer scorpio let's see uh, this person energy we have the child divine innocence purity and redemptions just as suggest a special connection with the divine oh sweet we have rescuer provide strength and support to others in crisis act acts out of love with no expectations of reward oh my god who this person is this person is even not accepting you know like in rewards you're lucky we have leap of faith. It's safe. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay. Some of you, you know, this person is. They're saying safe for you. Go make the move. Chemistry. That uh, the attraction you feel is mutual. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a confirmation that someone is you're feeling like you have a great chemistry with or you will make a great couple with. And it's mutual. They like you too. But I feel like you're having a difficult time maybe... To make a move toward this person or maybe this person let's see you will figure it out we have ten of wands fire sign seven of sorry five of swords air sign we'll see it in a minute seven of swords oh my goodness what the hell okay death scorpio death again <laughs> and we have the king of swords gemini libra aquarius Okay, two different cards, different decks, and we have the death twice. Hmm. Scorpio. You both may be Scorpio or someone, this person has maybe double, triple, I don't know, how many Scorpio in their chart. Sun, moon, rising or something like that. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. We have let your friends help you and we have getting to know each other. Okay, so a lot of you, this is like an initial stage. I'm picking up. It's like you, you did not date this person. Yeah, you did not date this person. No. 
I don't, I don't, I don't believe that you know this person. And if you know, you, you're not dating right now. You're not together. You're not together. This is your twin flame, obviously. This is your real twin flame, I would say, because it's like um, your passion ignites. You both are feeling this flame and passion. For a lot of you, you even don't know that this is your twin flame because you're having this chemistry, you're having this pull toward this person. Universe is guiding you for so many signs and symbols and you're like, mm, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a person or no, no, that type of energy. A lot of you, maybe you are going through right now a major transformation in your life. You could be leaving the past behind. And this is a brand new person. Let me tell you, this is a brand new person. This is a brand new person. This is a lot of you. I feel this is someone that is in your eyes, in front of you, but you're not seeing them as your twin flame or soulmate because you're not together. You're not talking. Um, and also it's like um, there's some hesitancy here from your side or from this person's side. Uh, I'm also getting, this is also like an initial stage of getting to know each other because we have getting to know each other. Uh, let your friends help you. So yeah, this person could be asking uh, the help from their friends, from people, or maybe you too, because the attraction is mutual between you and this person. This person will be very hella attractive to you, and you will be attractive to this person. But there are some issues here. Memories of love. So some of you, this could be your past life soulmate. Yeah, I believe this is your past life soulmate. This is someone that you have, a, I don't know how many past lives with this person. So when you will meet this person, you will be like, uh, I think I know this person. I think I am, we have a chemistry. Uh, but you will not know it. Like why? Why you have a chemistry with this person? You will feel some pull toward this person, like something that you feel like no matter what you want to take the leap of faith toward this person. Right? So for some of you could be, this is someone from your past, from this life, but you're not in a union with this person because you have twin flame and six of cups. This is definitely your soulmate, your twin flame, but you're not in a union with. You're not in a union with this person because we have intimacy and yin and yang. So you will be into intimacy and very romantic, in a romantic relationship with each other. The attraction is mutual. You still like each other. You're still in very deep, passionate love towards each other. But I feel like you are not at the, it's like you're not getting to know each other. You're not talking. Uh, there's no communication. There is a separation. It's a, like complete silence between you and this person. But you're having this, it's like this is in your heart that you're feeling this passion toward each other. Okay? This is also someone that, you know, what should I say? Because I feel that this could be, if this is someone new, you both are coming through, you know, some transformation. You're leaving something behind, they're leaving something behind. This could be someone who's a divorced person because we have the king of swords and death came up to us. So they may be going through a divorce or they are already a divorced person or they may be ending a very long-term relationship with someone else. Okay. And here you are transforming your life. You, you are done with the bullshits, you're, done with, you're maybe dealing with the very toxic people, players, you know, unrequited love situations. This is your energy, I feel. Um, people are playing mind games with you and you are the one always putting the effort. It's, it's just like one-sided love, uh, unrequited love, I would say deceptions. And you are definitely healing that. And this person is coming out of a, of a marriage, a relationship, or maybe... Um, yeah, I feel this person is older than you. There's something about this person is a level of maturity. Uh, they're transforming right now, their life. So when you'll meet this person or right now, you know this person, this person is definitely not available. King of Swords, they're emotionally not available. They're going through this, this, this um, transformation, back and forth, back and forth. But there is something about you and this person is definitely always is a memories of love. It's, it's just like pull. It's a pull towards each other. Why? Because you are soulmates. So this person is a divine child and rescuer. This is someone who is a very sensitive, very spiritual, very divine child. Um, they, they're very, very giver. These people are givers. They, they are lovers, I would say. They're lovers. Uh, they help other people. They help the people. Um, this person could be working through ships, 
Uh, I'm working on ships maybe. Um, I'm seeing ships here. I'm also seeing this person is definitely cross the bodies of the water. Wherever this person lives, there is definitely some type of waters there. Or this person love fishing. Um, this person is also very, this person is very free spirited. I'm getting Aquarius vibes too from this person. And maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. So you will make these memories of love together, intimacy. You will come together. For some of you, this person could have an intimacy, intimacy issue. Like they don't want to be, get close because of this fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, fear of, you know, some insecurities. Yeah, because we have the leap of faith and chemistry. So this person is definitely finally going to take the leap of faith because they will feel this chemistry that they will never feel with someone else. Or maybe you already know this person, okay, and you feel this chemistry with this person no matter what. So there is a definitely factor of leap of faith here that you both will take uh, toward this relationship. I'm also seeing expect a miracle. So this is a miracle for a lot of you. Um, if you know this person already, it's it's like expect a miracle because you guys are balancing out your yin and yang energy and you're definitely going to be in this intimate relationship. Because I believe, again, I believe that you're not in a union with this person. If you know this person, you're not in a union. But you are going to be in union very soon because it's, it's written. It's like you have to come into union. Because it's, it's really, it's just like a miracle for both of you. Taking the leap of faith and attraction and love and pull towards each other. For others of you, you are leaving something behind and this person is also. And then you will come together. This is like a brand new person. You will get to know each other and you will feel this pull toward this person, obviously. Okay? So this will definitely past past life if you believe in past life so this is definitely your past life soulmate and twin flame that is coming in this lifetime so you can come into union yeah so this is your reading like share and subscribe i will see you in the next video bye hello group number four the people who choose this card let's figure it out together who is your um, soulmate or twin flame so before i start your reading i also you can see that this yin and yang this life circle so you are definitely each other's soulmate. I feel like you will be opposites from each other, you know, like black and white, but you will complement each other. You fit together. I almost see that someone is crying over you. Someone is sad. This person could be look like this. Look at this. This person, period. They, they look like this. These eyes, this nose, this nose, you know, and you will be the source for this person always. Um, of, um, you will be the biggest sport for this person okay you will always be the part of this person like you will always be you will always have the back of this person or they have always back of yours like i'm here no matter what you will never leave each other okay so we have the balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both sports and challenges yeah so there will be i told you you will both sports each other no matter what and you will also trigger a lot of things in each other. That's what the soulmate connections are. And you will always, maybe you will face a lot of challenges. I feel like this is like unusual type of relationship for some reason. I feel that maybe you both are coming through a different cultures, religion. There is something about both of you is like a black and white. Like opposites. Completely opposites. Personalities and peoples. Okay, let's see. So we have resolving conflict. And we have luminosity from this deck. We have earth and ground. We have deception and in way. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see the attributes of this person. So we have the shapeshifter. We have, let's see, read together. Skill at navigating through different levels of uh, consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. Okay. And then we have healer. Passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit, ability to help transform pain into healing. Wow. So one person of, I feel like in both of you, one person will be a healer and other person will be shape shifter, like grounding and earth energy. Wow. I'm get. oh my God. So told you, you both are different people. So we have here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. Ooh. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Hmm. Let's see what's this all about. We have the hermit, Virgo energy. You are them, the lovers. We love this, right? Or not we, sorry. Gemini. Page of Swords, 
air sign devil oh <laughs> oh my god i did not expect that capricorn okay we love that we lovers lovers and the devil together it's like hell and heaven okay now i know that what is this connection about we have the sun it's leo and we have the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius so okay let's see from this we have finances and career that will definitely play the major role here we have new love a new partner has tell you romantic feeling and we have engagement wow whoa 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 <laughs> okay so a lot of you you are in separation with this person um i feel you know this person you know you know you just know there is an imbalance here between you and this person there could be an age gap between you and this person because i'm seeing page and queen of swords like page of swords and queen of swords it's a huge age gap again i told you the difference here so this is someone um younger than you okay or there, there's definitely age gap here or some of you this could be like you are the single parent here um and the other person is like a, is a child like energy again i'm getting because we have the sun it's like very childish very happy go lucky person always playing goofing around uh and you are here the serious one or vice versa maybe you are the player one and this person that that, that is coming into your life is very serious one with the queen of swords um yeah, you both are opposites. I mean, we have um, deception and envy. So a lot of you, you know this person. This person is right now deceptive, not talking to you. Uh, you both are not in a communication. Or this could be someone that you feel it's like is ghosting you. Like they ghosted you. Uh, they did not tell you how they feel. But I'm seeing there could be some issues here that this person is going through right now. We have the devil and we have the finances and career so this person is really bounded in their work they could be workaholic 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 okay uh this could someone they have addictions um but i feel more likely this person has workaholic like they don't have a time even to date or to romance or to be in, in relationship or uh, this could be someone who is from a you know like strict traditional this person could be a traditional like they believe in like they have to be you know like romance someone that um, that they have to marry like from strict culture or religion or background but i mostly feel this person is definitely with this uh, the devil energy this person is a workaholic and with his finances and career too or maybe you are going to meet this person through finances and career but no i'm feeling this person is a workaholic they are work 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 so so i feel here yeah, this person is definitely is a part of your life, but not in the way that you want because it's not romantic. It's not like you're not together, but playing hard. Uh, I feel like you need to focus on yourself because you are very strict. You're very boundary. You could be Capricorn or Aquarius or maybe air sign. You're very over analytical. You're very like overthinker or maybe you're over analyzing and overthinking a lot. So they're telling you that go and have fun. Enjoy with this person because this person definitely... You will both and learn a lot of things to, from each other because page of swords i'm seeing that learning understanding each other because that's what the difference is, is of each other you both have it okay one person is like a with this hermit and healer energy one person is like a healer they are introvert they, they want their deep time you know like alone time and the other person is like party 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 this shape shifter i feel this is a masculine energy i feel this is a party person. They're very, like a social butterfly. They're workaholic. They, they are shapeshifter. They're always on the go. They're always traveling. They, they are, they, whenever they go, I feel like wherever they go, they shift the mood. They definitely lift up the mood. This person is in a high vibration no matter what. Um, this person experiences a lot of things and cultures. I feel uh, this person is really, really experienced. Uh, or maybe you but i'm seeing the one person is a healer here and the other person uh, one is a healer grounded this earth and introvert energy wow i definitely feel it's like an introvert and extrovert type of a situation okay and also like someone who's really um healer like 
psychic intuitive and the other person is like more practical earth and grounding energy like shapeshifter like capricorn earth virgo uh and a, you know like air sign yeah this is definitely talking it's, it's like a balance between you and this person it's really needed here so a lot of you maybe you know this person okay this person is definitely part of your life but your relationship is not grounded not balanced because you're not understanding each other you both are different Okay, or this person is trying to come and cut. I feel like you're, you cut this person out. You're not contacting this person right now. Because this person is spying on you right now. Or you are spying on this person. This person is definitely childlike. I'm, this is like a student. Okay, and you are the teacher. Like that type of situation. You know, like this person is definitely learning. And they are maturing up. But you are already mature up with luminosity. This person will definitely hella addictive to you. Or maybe already obsessed with you. And you don't know it. This person is obsessed with you. Hella obsessed with you. There will be strong bond between you and this person. It's like unbreakable chemistry, romance, and sex. Look at this. No matter what, you will never leave each other. Yeah. Luminous. This person will put you on pedestal. Like, I don't know. I'm getting like impressed vibes from this. So this person will only be committed to you. You will be very, very addictive and codependent on each other that you even don't want to leave each other. So maybe that's what you both, maybe you already know who this person is. You both are very addictive and obsessed with each other. So that's what you need to, you know, retreat and give each other space and time. So you cannot be, you know, cross the lines or boundaries. You know, be logical in this situation and just play hard, go have and fun. You know, even though being this codependent and strict and rules and regulations, no, it's not. Because I'm seeing that I'm also getting a resolving conflict. This is someone that you have a conflict with. Yeah, you're, not, you're in a separation. You're not guys talking to each other. But this person is a part of your life already. You know this person, okay? You know this person. This is like a hell and heaven type of a relationship. You can't live without each other, but at the same time, you can't be together. But you will be together, obviously, because I'm seeing commit commitment here, engagement here. You will live with this person, like, a, for a long, long term. This person is coming to express their feelings. You will be extremely happy and joyous. So some of you, this person could be coming from the far. They could be live far from you. Okay, for a lot of you, this could be a new love that you don't know. Okay, yeah. Don't ask the question. You know this. You don't know. If you don't know it, who I'm talking about. This is a new love that is coming in your life. You may not meet this person through maybe finances or education or some type of learning. Okay. Then you're going to meet this person. And this will be a very grounded. This person, will be, you will be opposites. Let me tell you. You will be totally opposites from each other. So that's where they maybe always create the conflict and drama and chaotic relationship between you and this person. Because you, you both have maybe different love languages too. One person is like a practical and the other person is like verbal. No, speak to me and tell me how you feel. But I'm seeing this is also about energy is different. Shape, shifter and healer. So yeah, that's what the... Um, but you both need to be... You will be very, very attractive to each other. You need to see in each other beautiful things and appreciate and cherish those things. Okay? Rather than, you know, go into negativity and codependent relationship, I feel this person will be workaholic. So you should be understanding of this person... Um, Career, business, or finances. You need to understand that. That this person has this job, like they have to, this is a very hectic job. Like they can't, they can't leave that job. I don't know. But this person has something related with the job and finances. Like they, are, they have a very hectic thing that they need to do. Okay, they could be a politician or working with uh, environment or community because they have a shape shifter. This is also someone I will always on the go. They could travel a lot for their work and business. So you need to understand this person is definitely, could be working in law, judgment, um, military or something they have a very hectic job physical job like they should be there present you know some do some physical work there but uh, it, th th there will be some imbalance here but I feel like eventually you will be come into union with each other because this is your soulmate you will resolve this conflict you will understand each other and if you know this person and right now you're not together you will be come into union because this person is coming to speak up the truth to you very soon you are definitely going to get engaged or married with this person but ultimately, because you make each other happy. Okay? This is also, I'm seeing here, that your inner child will be connected with each other. Because you will both trigger a lot of things in each other. And that's where the balance is. You will heal each other. There will be challenges. But at the same time, you will be supporter of each other. Right? So that's what I'm picking up here. So like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number five. The people who choose 
this card let's figure it out together who is your soulmate slash twin flame we have my beloved though though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcended space and time nothing is missing okay so a lot of you you're missing this person you are definitely yearning and longing for this person like you're saying everyone is getting their soulmate where is my soulmate you know like that type of situation um and this person is also missing you and but i feel like universe is telling you that this person is a part of your soul okay and this person is already in spirit with you you're united together in spirit way 5d maybe but maybe in 3d is is it's like you're not with this person yet let's see who's this person we have reparenting yourself we have creativity okay so this person will be very creative or from a creative field we also have trust the universe yeah i feel like you're not together with this person yet we have patience number 14 sagittarius card let's see we have student humility and devotion to knowledge openness to lifelong learning okay and then we have vampire oh it makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force and we have the patience Ooh. Ooh. we have vulnerability you can be completely open with this person finances financial challenges are affecting this connection okay let's keep going let's see what is this we have the high priestess oh pisces page of cups water sign we have four of pentacles earth sign seven of cups martyr sign especially pisces we have the justice libra seven of swords air sign libra aquarius let's see from this we have religious factors we also have love yourself first and we have playfulness okay so this person is a child younger than you they could be learning they could be student um they could be yeah they're younger than you there's an age gap between you and this person strong age gap um this person is definitely a younger than you they will be or maybe they have a youth spirit they will they, i feel like you will meet this person when you are students or you are student right now watching this video so yeah you have a time to meet this person because it's a delay it's a it's like be patient because this this person is definitely will come or enter in your life on the divine timing because right now you are a student you're learning and or this person is right now learning we also have this energy talking about this person is your beloved and you're definitely going to meet this person this person is a part of your 5d activity and we also feel like with this um high priestess so you intuitively know this person i'm seeing you can see this lot of this is the biggest crescent moon here so this is someone you may be dreaming about and you're getting some psychic insights about this person or maybe reaching out to some psychics and you know like me tarot readers are someone in psychics and tutors like who is my soulmate when when i will meet this person you definitely uh trying to figure it out because i feel this person is not yet in your 3d life okay you both are learning you both are experiencing a lot of things you both need to mature up and level up this will be with the high priestess and the justice it will happen on the divine timing no matter what you will never miss this person don't worry i feel like it's a matter of the time here when you will meet this person we also have the justice and high priestess so there are some truths here that you don't know about it about this relationship but the truth will be told to you because i'm seeing this person if you know this person already this person is hiding seven of swords they're hiding their feelings because again they're childish four of pentacles and seven of swords they're playing this hide and seek game with you they're immature they need to reparent themselves they're draining also your energy because they're energy vampire i'm sorry this is someone who is an energy vampire and we also have the page of cups yeah they're childish they're behaving childish they need to mature up they need to level up they need to they're a student right now in the love or in the or overall they're trying to maybe create something in their life yeah seven of swords this is someone who's deceptive someone who's really uh, playing mind games with you hide and seek not telling you how do they feel this is also someone that you seven of cups you're really confused about if this is someone i like this person is really interested in me or not you know you're asking these questions this is really confusing hella confusing you could be seeing a lot of seven sevens 
So trust on the divine timing. The truth will be told. I feel like you still don't know who this person is. To be honest, I feel you don't know this person yet. This person is not in your 3D world. You're not together. So be patient. This person is coming to you. Um, because I'm seeing some of you, this is someone who is... If you already know this person, this is childish and energy vampire. Yeah, this is someone who's draining your energy. So you need to be patient and let this person do whatever they are doing. You need to disconnect from this person because this is a, someone who's very student, like they're learning. They're very immature. And you are here. You both may be students and, and teenagers and you both are in the process of learning right now. But this, tell me, tell, um, let me tell you, this is someone who's, who have this tendency of, you know, draining the energies. And I feel this is also someone who's draining your energy already. So be patient and everything will be happen in the time, divine timing. Four plus one, five, change is definitely, is, 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 is assured here, confirmed here. But right now, this is not the time to come into union with this person or, or this person is definitely not ready to speak up their truth because they're hiding. They're not ready. They're holding back. Uh, this is a more likely confusion, confusing, illusions, 5D type of a relationship dreaming you're dreaming about this person and this person is dreaming about you maybe again this is something connecting with the divines and dreams here so pay attention to your dreams whoever this person is coming into your dreams or when you will meet this person you will definitely get a lot of signs and dreams about this person like this person is entering in your life because i'm seeing with the page of cup this person will be childish younger than you they will be very romantic also but they will be page again they're like student they definitely will be younger than you and one person is like uh, mature, spiritual. Or maybe this person is working on their finances. Like that's why they're not ready. They're not ready to, you know, vulnerable. This is someone who is like, maybe have this energy to open up to, you know, like emotionally. Yeah, again, their child. They will have difficulty to open up emotionally. We have reparenting yourself. So yeah, this is someone who's, who's definitely leveling up. And when you are reparenting yourself, maybe you you maybe have this tendency to attract and deal with the people who are energy vampires, and you need to behave this in a childish way, or attract the people who are younger than you, or they are not you know mature enough. So you need to reparent yourself and create your own abundance and trust the universe that the right person is coming to you maybe, and then you're going to meet this person because there's some factors here to love yourself first here. There, this relationships are you have the tendency to be in codependent or attract the wrong peoples in your life are dealing and you know dating wrong peoples or this person has this tendency so definitely love yourself first because i'm seeing again with a religious factor and high priestess there will be some spiritual matters or spiritual lessons that you will learn um, from each other or with together playfulness yeah again so this is like a very funny, very romantic, very dreamy type of a connection, but off grounded. Again, I'm seeing here, it's not grounded. It's not, it's not off the ground. If you know this person already, it's not grounded yet. It's like a very playful energy, very childlike energy and, you know, like hide and seek type of relationship. Not sure, not clear. Truth is not to be told. So trust the universe that this person is coming because behind the scene, I feel the universe is working. You can see that, right? This, 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 this. This light here. So behind the scene, universe is working. Or this person is trying to mature up, level up, and you too. So a lot of you, you know this person, but you both are need to grow up, level up, and create your own life and release each other. And don't try to be codependent and drain in each other energy because it's a vampire energy, vampire energy here around you and around this person. This person definitely have this tendency of codependent and addictions and obsessions and they need to heal they need to work on because again this person is playing hide and seek game or they when you will meet them they will play this type of energy like they behave immature or childlike or they will be maybe younger than you like student or right now not experienced in love and romance okay but you will create this abundance together and then this person will trust you and open up to you emotionally and they will be vulnerable or maybe you will have a difficulty to be vulnerable and emotional with this person but there are some problems here that you both need to go through. You need to heal. You need to learn. You need to recover and be patient. 
because everything will be happen on the divine timing. This is very spiritual connection. You will have it, but you both will learn a lot of things. You both will create your life and reparent yourself together, or maybe it's individually, and learn the lessons. This okay. So this is your reading, like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number six, the last one. Finally, let's figure it out together. Who's your soulmate slash twin flame? We have the power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay, so this is a relationship that will... Blah, oh my God. It's like a snake hair. Temptation, blockages. Yeah. I'm also getting like, this is the connection that will be toxic, to be honest. I will be very honest with you. Because I'm getting like, the, the snake is like a toxic, tempestive, very unhealthy in the start. Or maybe right now you're going through this. So that's why you need to walk away from this and just surrender to the divine. If the, right, the timing is right, you will be into union. But I feel like there will be some unhealthy bound between you and this person or unhealthy choices or unhealthy. It's like codependent. I'm seeing like a snake, it's like something that is, you know, like bonding you. It's unhealthy habits, addictions, obsessions, codependent relationships with, the, with, the, with this person. Okay, so we have self-respect, yeah. You need to walk away, you need to surrender, you need to separate yourself from this person. It's really important for your self-respect. Then we have the connection, okay? So a lot of you, this is a connection. This will start as a connection, okay? We have joy and contentment. Wow, I love this. I love this from the angels, okay? Then we have spiritual union. Two of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So yeah, this is your soulmate, no matter what. This could be a same gender sex relationship because I'm seeing here. So let's see. We have the queen. Uh, radiates the regal feminine. Use her benevolent authority to protect others, okay? And then we have the victim. Prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Okay, so this person definitely a victim mentality. Or they will trigger in you some issues, I told you. Yeah. Th this pile is really complicated. I'm telling you again. It's really codependent issues I'm already feeling here. We have friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So a lot of you, this is your friend. And you are friends right now. Or you will start as friendship, like connection. We have soulmate. Wow. So your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Yeah, this is what you need to learn, the lessons with each other. Unconditional love. We have two of cups. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this. You have the two of cups from this deck and two of cups from this deck. Congratulations. This is your soulmate. Two of cups, two of cups. This is a very deep love. And we also have the soulmate. So what a sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the world. Any sign mm, possible. King of Cups. Here you go. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have three of Cups. What a sign again. Again, friendship. We have the Empress. Oh, la, 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 la. Taurus and Libra. Let's see from this. We have the flirt. We have reconciliation. And then we have honeymoon. Oh. So this is definitely, a lot of you, this is a reconciliation with your past lover. Or this could be someone from your past life. If you don't know who this person is, don't force it. Because you are definitely going to know who this person is very soon. Hmm. From where to start? So there will be an age gap between you and this person. I'm already picking up here with, with this... Um, King of Cups and Knight of Wands. So there will be age gap. Also, I feel, I told you, there could be a same gender sex relationship. But there will be an age gap. One is a water sign, one is a fire sign, okay? Um, we also have the queen and victim. So some of you, this person is definitely powerful. Yeah, they, may, they maybe have a, this is like a power struggle. Um, this person is like very feminine. Because we also have the Empress, it's a divine feminine. So this person is, does not matter. They could be male in the body, in the feminine, okay? 
they could have a male body but they are in a feminine in themselves or you could be the feminine you know the female body in masculine just does not matter this is the energies so we have the queen so this person will be very um feminine i feel with the empress here they will be very feminine even though they are male or female does not matter this person carrying the feminine energy okay they will be very soft very sensitive very generous they also have this victim mentality like I feel this person will be very, very attractive. Like, I don't know. This, will, this person will be very, very attractive, very beautiful, very charming, good-looking, handsome. You know, the handsome hunk or the beautiful, the beauty queen. This is that type of thing. Like, handsome hunk or beautiful, the beauty queen. So, you know, that type of labels that we put on peoples. So, that's put a lot of pressure, you know, on the person. Because now they feel that they're victim. They, they can't go out. They can't, they raise their standards high or maybe people expect from them like oh my god um who this person is dating who this person is going with um you know and they they don't know that what's going on with the other person around them within themselves so this person has a victim mentality only you because you are the soulmate you will know it to meeting this person like this is this is someone who is not just beauty queen or handsome hank they have other problems you know so yeah this is you then you are maybe this person has this 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 victim mentality they flirt they lot of do flirts they could do one night stand they could be a player or even though she's a female she's like partying a lot you know flirting you know from one relationship to another she have a lot of friends social butterfly you know that type of energy i'm picking up here but this is a mask this is the mask okay let me tell you they're like they're wearing this victim mentality they're hiding their this victim mentality they're putting this facade and mask in front of the people's like i'm okay i'm good but there is something about you you will definitely trigger in this person and they will transform yeah because this is a spiritual union you will ignite something in this person that they will transform themselves they will change this behavior the world they will change this they will leave this behind they may be from player to become this king of cups you know open for love open for romance being vulnerable being more open to people's accepting the love accepting themselves you like there's a lot of learning here step by step and she also if she's a, you know like divine feminine i'm talking about she divine feminine okay the empress and three of cups then they will be like they will be also transformed and change very grounding and you know want a romance want a date and there will be some spiritual union obviously because this is a soulmate connection and we already have this two of cups and soulmate so this soulmate connection is someone that is is in a victim mentality they are the label that you know the society or peoples their schools university colleges or wherever from they are they have these labels of handsome hunk and beauty queen i don't know uh you know and they present themselves like they're okay they, they behave like we are in the power and we are but you can see that how these two peoples are different you know in public this person will show like their queen their king their everything that people wants but in reality when nobody's watching they're victim they're alone nobody is their friend so this is that type of a person okay so this is a spiritual union this soulmate connection with you um bring a lot of change maybe this is your energy meeting your soulmate will change everything in your life yeah look at this two of cups two of cups and soulmate this is a very strong spiritual connection deep soul connection that you will trigger a lot of things in each other. I feel like you also have this victim mentality. You know? Because I feel that you can see that how they're seeing in each other's eyes. You will see each other. You will accept each other. There's something is bringing you guys together. It's soul. It's, it's, it's divine. And you will see each other. You will see the true self of each other. Because maybe you both are playing this mask and roles. And facade in front of the peoples and everything. And this, this soulmate connection will definitely, look at this, how read this again. They're saying your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. It's mean that you will not trigger each other. Maybe in the start, I told you, like, it's a beginning, it's a beginning. Like, you will, you will love, accept each other as you are. Your wounds, your, your, your chaotic situations, your, your, 
your masks, your darkness. But at the same time, you will cherish each other. You will respect each other. Because this is what you both are. Yeah. This is very deep love. You will maybe start as a friend. Or maybe you are right now friends. And because you are understand each other. And you have this friend, uh, you know, like this friendship with each other. You both understand each other no matter what in the world. Wherever you go, you come together because you come to each other because you understand each other. You feel like this, only this person can understand me. Only this person can see me. Only this person can see me wounds and will, will not be play and laugh on me. And, and, and will not make fun of me. Because this is my soulmate. This is the person I love. This is the person who understands me. This is, the only, this is that type of connection in the world. Like no matter wherever you will go, this is like one in the million. One in the billions. The world for me. So you will be each other's world. Let me tell you, it's not a fantasy, okay? It's not easy because the, the people who are going through this relationship, they know that. It's not easy to accept each other, wounds and trigger the, uh, the spiritual things in each other. And with the world card, go through this transformation and recover. Because I'm seeing that you will have a lot of love for each other and respect. I feel this is person, this is a masculine energy. They will change from player to from this, this king of cups. Sensitive, romantic and very generous, very loving. And she will be also be very loving and, you know, if she's a female, she will be going to be like this, you know, more open-minded and more friends, more like a friendship and, you know, like three of cups is also reconciliation. If you know this person already, you, you will going to be in reconciliation. So even though they are male, they will be very attractive, very charming, very good looking. And even though she's female, she will be the beauty queen. I'm telling you. But there are, yeah, it's, it's like reconciliation with this person. So this person will change this flirt energy to definitely romantic. They will be fall in love with you. And you will go on a honeymoon with this person on trips with each other. Maybe long distance travel to each other. Or maybe this is like you will uh, travel a lot with each other. But I'm seeing the distance here with the world card too. So a lot of you, 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 you maybe will detach from this person. You will give each other time and space. Because this is what your self-respect will tell you. To give each other space and time. And this person will respect to you that you definitely did not cross the boundaries with this person. And that's, maybe you start as a friend, or, or maybe this is start as a connection. You will get to know each other, you will try to talk to each other. Or maybe some of you, this is like online dating or apps. On social media, you will get to know each other. This will start as a connection, let me tell you. Our friends, you know, like casual friend or something, but... Then you will deepen, your bond will be deepened to each other. Get to know each other one by one, step by step. And I'm saying this is what the reality is. At the end of the day, you are going to be in this joy and contentment with each other. Your union is definitely written on the star. So you will be together. But the universe is also telling you, if you are stuck in this process of, you know, having a difficult time to trust this person and, you know, to work on yourself because you have the power to say no and walk away anytime. Yeah, you have the power to say and, you know, move on. If you feel this person is definitely a victim or victimizing you, maybe, or triggering you a lot of things, so you need to walk away. Give this person a time and space to heal and recover because you have the power again. Again, I'm seeing with this, uh, with this um, you know, the snake here, there's a definitely a lot of triggering, a lot of temptation, competition, maybe jealousy too. Maybe your friends or other people's involved here. But this is a spiritual union. This is two of cups. This is your soulmate. You will reconcile with each other no matter what. But with the world card, it's talking about after transformation. You both need to self-respect, like step back and give each other space and time to heal and recover. That's what the universe always say. And then you will come into union with each other. But because I feel this person will come back to you and they will be transformed and changed. Totally changed and transformed. And ready to accept this love from friendship to love or maybe, you know, connection to love and romance, whatever. But this is your soulmate. This person will put you on pedestal or you will put this person on pedestal. So that's what you both need to learn, that you both are same. You will trigger in each other a lot of insecurities too, I'm seeing here. That's what you both need to heal and recover. But you both are same. You both are same. Okay? You will see each other through it. You, you have a soul contact, I feel here, with this, with this group. You have a soul contact. 
So definitely you will, no matter what, you will always come to each other. You will always find the way to, to connect with each other. Okay? So that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.